Hey guys, this is Asal. I'm studying for the bar and I wanted to review my notes with you. So in this video, I'll be sharing my notes on professional responsibility and I'll be talking about the rule 3.7, a lawyer serving as a witness. So in this video, I'll talk about advocate as a witness and finally, I'll be talking about imputation of conflicts. Think to yourself, there are very few instances where a lawyer or a judge can serve as a witness. Usually they can't, but a lawyer may serve as a witness when testimony is uncontested or testimony is about a legal service or disqualification would cause substantial hardship. I'm going to read the rule for you real quick. The model rule of professional conduct 3.7b states that a lawyer may act as an advocate in a trial in which another lawyer in the lawyer's firm is likely to be called as a witness unless precluded from doing so by rule 1.7 or rule 1.9. So, to summarize, a lawyer may not serve as a witness unless testimony is uncontested, withdrawal will cause clients substantial harm, or testimony is about a legal service. So now that I gave you a little bit of a summary of what I'll be talking about, I'd like to show you the rule real quick. So you can find the rule on page 75, uh, no, sorry, you can find it on page 77, um, rule 3.7, lawyer as a witness, right here. So I'm going to go ahead and read it for you real quick. Um, over here, part A states that a lawyer shall not act as an advocate at trial in which the lawyer is likely to be necessary witness unless one the testimony relates to an uncontested issue two the testimony relates to the nature and value of legal services rendered in the case or three disqualification of the lawyer would work substantial hardship on the client and part b i've already read it for you but i'm going to read it again a lawyer may act as an advocate in a trial in which another lawyer in the lawyer's firm is likely to be called as a witness unless precluded from doing so by rule 1.7 or rule 1.9. And then it goes straight to the comments. The first comment is combining the roles of advocate and witness can prejudice the tribunal and the opposing party and can also involve a conflict of interest between the lawyer and the client. And then it goes to the comments of the advocate and the witness role. So that's pretty much everything I wanted to talk about today. Good luck studying.